One of the ways in which you can filter out uh, the data that you see right here is by using an input box. So to do that, you can go around over here and click on add a control. And over here, you can see that input box is an option. Once you click on this, you can go around and place the input box wherever you want and resize it out as well. So now the way this works is you type in a data and the data is filtered out accordingly. So I'm going to click on view right here. And then on the console, I'm just going to go around and type in a data that I want to filter out. So for example, I'm going to type in Xboxes like this and press enter. And then you just see the data related to Xbox. Similarly, I'm going to type in an ES right here and press enter. And then it filters out um, the data to NES as you can see. But if I were to type in small letters right here, then it says no data. That is, uh, the, the, the filtration process is case sensitive as you can see right here. So I can go around right here, type in switch, and you can see that it shows the data for the switch right here. But if I were to press small s right here, then it says no data. And that is how you can work around with input box filter inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.